The new regulation approved by Europe Art and the Net Zero Industry Act and the Critical Raw Materials Act. The aim of these plans is to contribute to the competitiveness of the European Union Net Zero industry for supporting the fast transition to climate neutrality. Last year, countries such as USA, Japan, Canada or India started to develop different strategies focused on creating, heavily investing and rolling out support measures to innovate their production capabilities. Net Zero Industry Act and Critical Raw Materials Act are not only the European Union strategy for achieving the Union's climate neutrality goals, but also a response for positioning Europe as a leader in the energy transition and global scale. Okay, the Net Zero Industry Act will simplify the regulatory framework and improve the investment environment for the Union's manufacturing capacity of technologies that are key to meet the Union's climate neutrality goals. This framework is simpler, faster and more predictable and it focuses on key technologies for the shift to net zero. In other words, it focuses on cutting red tape. The Critical Raw Materials Act will focus on addressing the lack of secure and sustainable access to critical raw materials for the European Union. It's focused on mitigating critical raw materials related risks in the global supply chain, increasing the European Union critical raw materials value chain's capacity in the internal market, and reducing the environmental footprint of the European Union critical raw material consumption. Well, we will probably know the answer in the coming weeks or months, but in any case, the ambition of both plans is undeniable and Europe's commitment and effort to become the future benchmark for green technologies seems clear.